Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're taking a look at Ascendants. This is available now on the Microsoft Store, priced at £4.99, that's $5.99 at €5.99. Right, let's jump into it and check it out. Right then guys, so Ascendants is a 3D first person platformer. Um, the point is to get these checkpoints, uh, these balls here, you see the light coming off them, it shows you the next one you need to grab. And as you do that, you see the level appears, more of the level appears. Uh, you can run with the left bumper, like so, and you can jump with A or right bumper. Um, we also get collectibles, and there's like these cubes you can find. Um, so if you complete a world, once you get all the checkpoints to go through the final gate, if you go back in, all the collectibles respawn. So ideally you want to pick them all up as soon as possible. Uh, let's see where we need to go here. So just over there. I think I fell short. No, good. Um, so yeah, collect all the collectibles in that one play. Then you don't have to go back and uh, hunt for them all again. And uh, the world does stay fully unlocked when you go back into a, uh, to a level. Oh, we missed that. Let's walk backwards a little bit. There we go. So obviously that's a jump pad just down there in the middle. Let's see what opens up now. Something over to the left. So where's the next beam of light? It's over there. You can see it. So let's go this way. You need to find those as well. I believe they uh, open up the end of the level. Or is that just part of the story? I'm not 100% sure with that. Um, anyway, let's jump over here. Grab this one. Right, so what opens next? So the center of the uh, world is opening up. That's a pretty tall pillar. Right, the next checkpoint is over there, so we should have to run and jump. Let's just land on this. Uh, no, we're not going to make that right. So if we stalk, which it looks like we are, just land in the water and we'll respawn at the last, last orb that we grabbed. So let's find the correct way around. It looks like we've got to go back this way. Uh, jump across these platforms. That was close. As far as I can tell, there is only three worlds to this, so you're talking about 20 30 minutes each one. Uh, maybe longer if you have got to go back and go away collectibles. Obviously, if you're heading for the thousand gamer score, you want to get everything. Um, but that's what I would assume is reflected in its price. Like I said, it's earlier on, it's only £4.99, $5.99. So, uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a chill out game, really. This. Let's have a look around how we need to get up there. I'm sure that's where we need to go. Up that way. So. Um, around here, yeah, found these steps. Oh, there's a cube. Right, can we jump up on this ledge? Have a little walk around this way. where we need to go this way. Right, 
Now that happens quite often as well. You really, really need to time the jump. Um, so we're now back here. As I said, you die, you respawn at the last orb that you touched. So yeah, sometimes you really need to time the jump perfectly. Might even be able to shortcut that actually we'll do that. There we go. That's much better. Alright, let's see where we need to go from here that way. Alright. And then this one. I'm gonna jump through that, there we go. got two to choose from now there's one over there and one there uh, we'll go for that one first um, yeah let's just jump down this way so we need to go back here get on there right and then let's have a look we could jump on this one, jump over here, land on that, grab this cube over here, and this way. No! <laughs> Um, right, I've got to do all that again, let's not. Let's have a quick look over this one. Um, that was silly, I've made it look where I was going there. Right, at least we landed here and we should be able to jump back up. Um, yeah, this way. And get back onto the steps. That's better. Let's have a look this way. Right, some platforms as well. Um, we'll probably not get some in this video. Depends on what unlocks when. But it's definitely some in the first world. There's some platforms that will uh, fall away from underneath you. And I died and respawned again. Uh, so yeah, some platforms will fall away from underneath you, so you really need to be quick with those. Uh, where am I going here? I was supposed to be going over there, wasn't I? Right, back this way. Let's try and find uh, the way up to that next uh, checkpoint this side. It looks like we may need to go this way. Be able to make that jump. Come on. No! Let's try again. One last try. So let's get on there. I will right, try a little bit of a different approach this time. We'll make our way around get a bit higher maybe even use this um, to get up on top of here there we go and we should be able to jump onto there side. No. Now right, let's just fall in.
Right. So yeah, we're going back up to that one. How do we get up there? Oh, that's right, it's from that, isn't it? Um, so can I jump from here? To there. Let's just see how high we get. Yeah, we can. Right. There we go. I've got a thing over there to find. Um, let's go and have a look. No. Jumped way too early there. That's better. Right, so we've got a platform that goes all the way up to there. So let's take a look. I can see the next checkpoint actually, it's over there a lot. So let's go this way. Um, let's work our way around. Try and run and jump to that platform, I'll probably fail. No, good. And then there, oh, there's the next one. And one of those other crystal things. Let's grab that. Well, loads more building up around us. Okay. Um, right, I think what I'll do is I'm going to leave the video there for today then, guys. So, yes, it's been a look at uh, Ascendance. As we said earlier on, it is available now. Uh, so, go and check it out if you're interested. Hope this video has given you a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it has, please leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.